In this video, I am going to be showing you guys how to make a simulator game on Roblox. And this is the part two of the first video that I did earlier this week's. And if you want to know and look at the first video, it is going to be linked in the description. But before starting, I am making a really, really good kit for you guys. And I know how to make, I've learned how to make skills like the one in Ninja's Legend so you can buy more double jumps and have a really, really good simulator, which is really fun. But I am only going to be releasing this really advanced video when I reach to 10,000 subs. So I want all you guys in this video who is watching to like and subscribe, hit that bell so you know when this video gets out. And whenever I get to 10,000, this video will be released for you guys. So I want all you guys that is watching this video to subscribe and hit that bell. And as well, like and subscribe in the next four seconds. You see four in the screen, no? And right now, like right now, go like and subscribe before you morph, like they say in Roblox, into him. I know he's he's really, really, he's really beautiful. Okay, so I don't think he is, but... You guys gotta like and subscribe before you morph into him, so do that fast. But, let's get in this serious stuff now. So when you go in Roblox Studio, I have this little game set up where I can teleport to here, have an emoji, and can buy um, more emojis with a shop and earn coins from the emojis. So, if you guys don't know how to do this, then check out the first part, which is going to be again, link in the description. So you can set up this little game I have and follow up. So yeah, my uh, subscribers asked me to make a part 2 so I showed them how to edit, change the objects, change the shop's values and go more deep into it uh, to customize it. And here are my, some of my subscribers on the screen and don't hesitate to send me your friend request on Roblox because honestly I don't have that much friends. and. Uh, we can't even play together or anything, but now let's get editing our game and customizing this game to your own game. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is how to change the objects in the tool. So it's really simple actually, you go here, here are the items in the shop. So if you go here, you will see those are the items that teleport to the shop. And you can change them, but this is not how you change the items itself. To change the items itself, you go in server storage items, you find the first emoji, which is going to be this one, and you can change it. So let's say example, I want to change this emoji simulator to something else. So I go over and search for, let's say, um, sword. And I can make this emoji simulator a sword simulator. So I can example, just bring up this Minecraft sword. And it's actually a decal, I think. What about that katana? It looks pretty cool. And let's say I want the katana instead of the emoji. So I simply have to find the handle, which is this transparent thing, the sword, and both drag them into the emoji get rid of that one and now let's try it out so when you buy the when you take the first emoji you should have not an emoji but a katana try it out okay as you can see we have a katana so this is it's as simple as that to change your item and if you want to know why I'm holding it like this it's because the handle is not in the right place you gotta make some modifications for this but don't worry you can go and change it you don't have to hold it like this it's, you can do some changes in that I'm just holding it like this because I didn't change anything yet but as you can see we have a different object and it works exactly the same with it works exactly the same there's no problem so let's just stop the game and let's continue making, putting more objects to make this, um, to make this simulator, this emoji simulator, another simulator. 
So let's just literally change this emoji simulator to a sword simulator, which is pretty cool. So I take the handle, which is this. So this one is really is more simple because you just take the handle and you literally just put it in to the second one and get rid of the other one. So here we have another emoji. So let let the ones before open. And I will be speeding up this if I know how to speed up the edit, whatever. Or skipping, it depends. Um, and I will be just changing those handles more. So, as you can see, I've changed most of the emojis. I'm not going to be changing them all. It's going to take too much time. But you can see that you can change the emojis to something else. But as you can see, if we play, we get another object when we buy it. But if we check out the shop, we still see the emojis. And this is really simple to edit. It's pretty much the same. We will just go over in the shop and edit, which I will show you right after proving that the other object. And work. Got one. Wait, I don't have enough money. So I'll just take this. Here. And this one is was anchored, so that's why it's doing like this. So I if you have a problem with your tool doing like this, that means it's anchored. It's simply that that that's why. I just suppose that it's just because it's anchored. That one is anchored as well. And this, which is anchored as well. Okay, that's not really cool, but as you can see, it's working. It's just anchored, and it's basically all edited and anchored, but you just need to even anchor it, which is really, really simple. And to change the what you see in the shop, so when you go in the shop, you don't see emojis, you see your items. You just gotta go items, find your item, and this is the first item, which is going to be this. Second, third, and all you have to do is replace this handle. It's as simple as replacing this handle. That means you go over in your items here, find your first emoji, duplicate those, and drag them in here, and take the handles position, copy it, delete it, delete it, oh my god, delete it, take those, and as you can see they appear here, bam, and as you can see you have now another object in the shop so yeah as you can see we need to anchor them here now let's test it wait for it to load and once you get in you can see that you can go to the shop and here awesome we've got our katana but as you can see it still says emoji one here it doesn't say a katana or anything and that's really really simple to change as you can see now we can equip it with our katana it's really really cool and already customized but we always of course want to change this so right now i'm going to show you how to change that 
let's stop the game and you need to go here configure item change from emoji one to katana i don't know if i spell it right copy this so you know it's exact same spelling go over here and rename this tool to the exact same thing so it's as simple as that really really simple setup i made this little kit really it's pretty simple i will see the most hard is the coding but it's really it's pretty simple actually to edit so as you can see it says katana so it's really cool it says katana it says katana here and everything is working it's already customized and with those i already show you you can change the whole shop and change the tools to make your own simulator so other people ask me as well how to change the value i have shown this in the other video as well but i will show you guys as well how to do this right now so if you want to change this you will go here configure and here you can change the price so this is how you change the price and if you want to change how much the tool gives you go here items katana configure and this is how much subscribers it gives you and this is how much coins and people said why does it give you so much coins how can i change it you can literally change it to 20 and now if you play we are getting 20 coins each click and let's wait for a bit click teleport here we have our katana click bam and yes it gives you 10 subscribers or text it depends on how you want to call it i'll call it subscribers because emoji goes with youtube and instagram and everything and 20 points so now let's stop this and uh, i've already showed you a lot so other people as well requested that let me try to think what else do i give you in this video what, I, what else do i show you so what have you guys requested as well to, to show how to change so some of us some of you guys have suggested how to how to add pets which is not an easy thing to do but i think if you guys want to know how to add pets i don't think i will do it in this video maybe there will be part three who knows but i got to get more used to um edit and give it in roblox studio because the pets it's more complicated i bet i guess but because you know i'll make if you if you want to make pets then you're making an egg hatching system and there's a lot of database as well for saving but that's okay when i finish making an egg hatching system then i will show you guys how to combine an egg hatching system to this similar kit so the egg hatching system won't be uh, shown in this video so now i will be showing you guys how to change those guis so you customize them and that's really really simple here is the amount and here is the subscribers itself so if you want to go over you know what let's change the color you go in color and you change it to what you want example you want it to be pink blue really anything you want it's as simple as that to change it and it's really really easy so let's say we want it like this purple let's copy this click here go over to color oh my god my misspelling sorry about that paste it spawn which is when you spawn this the shop change the color to this so now we have literally different customized um gui's and as well if you want to go over and get rid of that smiley face you can do this changing it you just got to go here to image and paste in your id An example you want to sword you can just go over search in roblox.com in the library you go in decals and you search sword decal or just sword icon and you can just paste the link here and it will change the image from an emoji to a sword so i'll do this right now you go in roblox studio and those those are all my subscribers so yeah if you guys want to friend me and you're my sub 
friend me. If you guys are not my sub, you want to friend me, subscribe and friend me. So here, my friends Toy Story and everyone are really good friends. So let's continue on. You can go over and create your own decal if you have find a decal in Google and you want to. You see how like I did, and you want to um, put it. So you just gotta put the image of the decal, name it, and upload it. It's as simple as that. So for example, I want that sort image. Then I can simply take it here. Go back to Roblox Studio. Go over to image. Backspace twice like this and yeah as you can see I've got a sword image it's really really simple actually let me just scale it up a bit and look I got a sword image instead of an emoji how amazing is this this emoji similar is transforming to a melee simulator or something which is really really cool instead of a pretty boring emoji simulator so yeah this is pretty much how you would personalize your game and I'm gonna show you how to change the pop-up GUI which is the emoji face you see and this is actually really simple as well you would simply go so where did I put this let me try to think to yes here and you would find it here so you simply paste in your emoji and it's like, well, me, I want a sword. I want it to be a sword. And you found, if you don't find an emoji to paste, then in pop-up image here, you paste an image like this, like the one before. But in my case, I will just put an emoji. So let me go over in Google, copy a, a, a sword emoji and come back to you guys. I have found an emoji of a sword, crossed sword, and I will simply paste it here. And it, it's really, really simple. Play, and whenever you see, Let's get in, and as well, you will see that everything is customized. So, as you can see, this emoji simulator does not look like an emoji simulator anymore. You got a katana, click, bam! The sword crossed icon and everything. How amazing is this, guys? It looks pretty small, you can change it to bigger. Really, really simple. And this is pretty much how you would customize this. And as well, if you want to change the leaderboard, it is pretty, pretty complicated, but it's pretty as well easy. You just need to change the leaderboard in the leaderboard script, which is going to be, which is not here. See the pop up? So you would find the leaderboard script, change subscribers into, example, slashes. And find all the other scripts, and every time you find subscribers in those scripts, you change them to slashes. So it's as simple as that. It will take some time because you gotta change everything, or it wouldn't work. So if you change as well the rear stats to slashes, then you will as well change everything in the script, which was subscriber or coins, to uh, the new value you put it. So as well, people ask me to put in code GUI, which is really, really simple, actually. And I will show you guys how to put the code GUI right now. Thank you for all my subscribers to ask me to make the part two and to participate in my channel. And as well, if you like this video, subscribe and hit that bell so you know when other video goes out. And I am going to be making a part 3 where I show how to add more items and how to customize this simulator even more so it is even more personalized. As well, you can change the map so you like so to your own map and it wouldn't actually affect the game. I hope you guys again have enjoyed this video. Make sure to drop a like if you did and see ya for another video.